Rumor mill has been churning over the future of Disney's ESPN. With profits uh, down and growth opportunities fading, a tech partnership could be the only or the network's only hope uh, of a vibrant survival. Here to explain, Bruin Capital founder and CEO George Pine. Just hard to, uh, it's hard to watch, I guess, number one. Just the, the, the crown jewel of, of just about every media asset. Uh, the bloom is off the rose, and I don't, uh, can, you, can you go over three or four things to explain uh, what happened, George? Yeah, sure, Joe. Good morning. Look, in, uh, ESPN, the subscribers have gone from 100 million to 74 million, and they're headed to 50 million in three or four years. And with the loss of the unit sales, on top of that, you have enormous pricing power that's been eroded significantly. And you're heading into a business streaming that's a lower margin business. And your core business is B2B to C, and you're going into the B2C channel. So for all of those reasons, as you point out, something transformative has to happen because ESPN, while it's a great brand and a quality programmer with a valuable set of rights, is facing headwinds in terms of cord cutting that are just too powerful. And so you are going to have to pivot to somebody that can give you distribution and marketing, I think will be the most impactful result for Disney. I just wonder if they knew what they know now or if management knew what, what it knows now and you went back five years, were, were there competitive moves uh, that, that ESPN should have made back then? I mean, we, we, there's so many places to watch sports now. I, 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 ESPN could have dominated, could have always dominated. Well, Joe, you do wonder because, you know, you list, you've seen so many companies over time that had enormous cash flows. And the question is, what did you do with the cash flow? So could they have bought the UFC? Could they have bought the WWE? Could they have bought NASCAR and bought other content is an interesting question. And as you point out, are there other strategic uh, moves that they could have made? Uh, the answer is probably, but it doesn't matter now. They're faced with a real challenge, and they really do have to pivot. Well, it, it seems like, um, you know, these, these tech companies want to get into sports programming, and, and they're sort of dipping their toe in the water the way it works now. I mean, it takes a lot for me to finally have to figure out I got to go to Amazon to see something. But I have done it, and I, it, that, that does happen. It's the only place to, to watch it. So it seems like a, a pretty natural match uh, can give ESPN what it needs, and it can give maybe a tech company what it needs. I, I agree, Joe. I mean, the, the question so far is the tech companies have kind of dipped their toe in the water and haven't really waded in. And I think, you know, sports aggregates large audiences that has loyal consumers, and there are going to be fewer streamers 10 years from now. So it really, who has the courage and the vision to embrace sports and get a once-in-a-lifetime asset like ESPN? ESPN's a brand. They have great content. They have great rights. They're well-run. They have relationships in the industry. I think they'd be very valuable to the right streaming partner. Because it's weird. The content is, is just like everything. Um... It's exploded. It's even better. 100%. And, and you, betting, you see drive George drive betting and, and, and wagering real time. And it, it, it's just weird. So we're talking about pipes. We're talking about getting it right for how it's uh, distributed. Once again, I think the same is true for all content. And, and streaming is supposed to be so great, it's just squeezing everyone. Correct. And I think you're right. With the gambling, is sticky. You're 19 times more likely to watch a program. If you gamble, the one-to-one -one relationship, the value, the lifetime value of a consumer in sports will over-index. Sports is made perfect for streamers. And you see it with Drive to Survive and other programs and non-live content that have done quite well. Imagine somebody embracing live and non-live with a platform like ESPN. To me, it makes a lot of sense for the right guy. I, I understand why ESPN needs Amazon. What I don't understand is why Amazon needs ESPN if they can just buy the rights to Formula One or baseball or tennis or whatever else, why do they need that's it? A, that's a fair objection. What they need is a brand. There's only one ESPN. Two, they have relationships in the industry. Three, they're really good at producing and distributing content. And four, they have very good rights. So, yes, you can make the case, hey, we can build it ourselves. We don't need to buy something else. But they themselves, whether they like it or not, they're in a race. Okay, There are going to be fewer streamers fewer options in the future, you know, for the right price and the right value, you can uh, get a point of difference with your competitor and accelerate your growth. To me, 
you know, there are, for example, in the NFL, there are 200 million loyal fans. College football is 180 million fans. I want to own those consumers. ESPN is a way to do that for those streamers. It's the, it's the best. Just those two things you just mentioned. And then, I guess a couple of years ago, I don't think I had seen an MLB game in a while, except for, you know, the Reds. You know, when's the last time they won a playoff game? But now, the people in my house, they're just like, oh, my God, baseball again. And if you watch it, they, they, you know, they play the same music every time they go to the break. And, and people in my house are ready to, to kill me because there's so much. I'll watch anything on, if I have $5 on a game, George. And, and it, it's a new world. And baseball with 162 games and all kinds of prop bets is also very compelling and interesting. So, look, sports sells. The I new mean, rules are great, sport. George. The new rules are, are I mean, I, 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 I notice it almost every day that the pitcher's not, you know, effing around with that Roslyn bag and looking around and all the stuff that they used to do. It was, it was brutal. Now it's like, you know, now they're so nervous. They got to, th- I think there's more hitting, more offense, right? Much, much better. You know, it just shows that you can improve these games. It's a constant evolution to get better. I mean, college football, I think you're going to see this year, uh, is going to be a lot quicker. The rules changes there. Quicken the game. I think the game's going to be better and more exciting. Same thing happened in baseball. 